Good morning, daydreamers. Anisha? It's afternoon. Afternoon, afternoon, because we're lazy and we wake up very late. Last time we wake up very late. We need to do something with this. Okay, so today video, I want to tell you about my visa because I have a lot of problems with my visa for the last two years. I have many questions about my visa, how I sorted out my visa, if I have or no, and uh, what really happened through all these two years, why I was so stressed about my visa, all these questions you will know from this video. So basically, I overstay my visa 26 months. I don't have visa now, I stay Philippines with no visa. As I said on the beginning, I will tell you all the story so you will know what really happens. So, I always extend my visa, everything was fine to the moment when we get locked down on the Siki Hall. That was the point where I can't extend my visa anymore because we cannot leave island Siki Hall. Second, we tried to contact, uh, not I say me, uh, we because there was a few people. Uh, on the Siki Hall who have similar problem. We tried to contact immigration in Dumaguete and extend our visa. I mean, send them, uh, you know, our passports through LBC so they can process our visa. But immigration said there's no possibility. We need to come to office and extend in person. After six months, they give us opportunity to send uh, passport and do this process the visa but if you overstay six months on the visa you cannot do this in immigration in Dumaguete or local immigration office we need to go to Cebu but we were still on the lockdown we cannot leave islands and problems started after some time my friend recommend me uh, one person who will process the visa for me if she was able to travel between island for some reason i don't know why and and yeah and i give her 67,000 peso i give her my passport all my documents she required and she was updating me every week that she already put because you know that was actually one year when i have already overstayed and she was updating me that uh, she sent all my documents to the immigration office to Manila because th this moment I cannot process even in Cebu, I need to send to Manila. It calls motion of consideration. And after three months of her updates, I find out that she actually don't send my documents to immigration office to Manila. She just get my money and uh, luckily I get my passport back the money I paid to her the guy who recommend her to me that was my good good friend and uh, he just gave me that money back uh, he took his the, 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 the situation on his shoulders he got that money back from her the problem is here that at this point I was with our visa for one and a half years, something like that. And uh, I find the other way, I find the agency is JRC. I will put link to the agency before. They are in Dumaguete, Cebu, I think in Manila also. I get good recommendation about this uh, people over there. And I contact them and uh, yeah, they start processing my visa. They charged me 35,000 peso to start processing the visa and I did and they said to me between one to three months you will get decision because you overstay for a long time decision can be that you will get banned rejected motion, motion of consideration and order to leave Philippines in the next two weeks for example so I was really scared about this and uh, because I don't know what's gonna happen uh, yeah and at the same time it's sad but 
there was a few people somehow they know about the situation from the closest people to me and they started treating me about that situation that this, that was completely shock for me because there were people who are asking me for money if I don't give the money they will report me to immigration office for not having visa very good job and this is uh, very sad that there's a people who wish you but even in the moment that you are actually you know worried you're sad about the situation you don't know what's gonna happen and there's a people who still want to earn money on your difficult situation. This is <laughs> this is bollocks from us. It's just I can't believe it. JRC agency they, they process very fast, they were absolutely professional. They told me how long it's gonna take maximum. Uh, they process all documents for me, so I just send them passport that's all they they did all this job uh, super you know i could do myself and i can risk and go to manila and process this myself probably it will cost me similar money but i was i will i would not know what's the result here i have like more hope that the result of my motion of consideration will be successful and i will not reject after two and a half months I received a letter from uh, from JRC they sent me order from immigration office in Manila there is uh, you know that I overstayed 26 months all in total 58 something like that and uh, the order is accepted uh, motion of consideration is accepted and they give me some amounts to pay for this period that was 25,000 pesos fines that was express line uh, uh, I think 10,000 and 15,000 uh, some immigration fines plus my visa for 26 months and some fines around this visa so all in total was 57,000 plus this 25,000 uh, penalties and express line and that 35,000 what I pay on the beginning yeah so in total if I'm counting right it was 117,000 peso to process my visa and yeah I can stay for the next 120 days in the Philippines if I want to stay more, I need to apply for a new motion of consideration, which I am not going to do. I just will leave the Philippines, I will reset my visa and I will come back again and go for all these three years like everyone. I'm sure there's a lot of people who have similar situation to me. I don't know if they accepted or rejected. I, I only know a few guys from the beginning. When all this mess start to happen that there's a few guys who were rejected and they get ordered to leave in the next 14 days but that was like one and a half year ago i don't know the result of these motions of consideration now but i'm happy guys <laughs> i can stay i can enjoy my travel philippines and yeah so i think until uh, because order is on the 20 october I accepted on 20 October. I received it just uh, yesterday, actually two days ago. Sorry, uh, so I can stay to 20 February. Yeah, 20 February. I need to leave Philippines, so probably you will see content from other country for some time. <laughs> now we focus Philippines. Yeah. So this is the update about visa. Yeah, and I want to say if you are in a similar situation and you still didn't process your visa go to JRC they will make it work good uh, agency promise ah I asked lady here by the way uh, about this apartment where we live we pay 1100 peso including electric yeah, per day because we rent only for seven days and 
and maybe we will extend again, but I don't know. But she said if you want to rent for the whole month, it's 16,000 pesos including electric and water. So I think it's a good money. In Mohalbo for 16,000, nice room close to the beach, close to market here, very nice. <laughs> Just come quick to see what my lovely flower is doing here. My lovely fiance finance. <laughs> She's doing banana. We don't eat lunch. I don't eat lunch. Danica eat lunch, but I don't. You eat lunch every day, no. but not today. You will eat now. Yes, we do. Yesterday she didn't eat. Listen to this. We was on the way. We were on the way back from our traveling. And we couldn't find actually place where she can eat and the rain started and she got really upset. <laughs> upset because of hunger. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, so if you want to keep your partner in the good mode, Filipina partner in the good mode, you need to give her food up time. <laughs> yeah? Fish mm -hmm. baby. Okay, we have raining day. Uh, it's really bad. Actually, very, I'm very happy that we wake up late today and we didn't go anywhere. Because Thank you, I wake up early. Oh, so what, huh? Just me? I wake up late? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What time you wake up? Uh, eight o'clock? <laughs> uh, maybe only one leg. And second leg, you wake up on the nine. No? no? Okay, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your day and greetings from paradise. Bye bye.